Now, in other news, Hezbollah chief Hassan Nasrullah has warned that there is no place in Israel that will be spared in case of a full-blown war. The open warning comes hours after the Israeli military said it has approved operational plans for an offensive against Hezbollah. In a televised address, Nasrullah said Israel won't be spared by Hezbollah at any cost and that it should expect the armed group on land, by sea and by air. It knows that no place in the entity will be safe from our missiles and our drones and that our strikes are not indiscriminate. Every missile is targeted, every drone is targeted and the proof of that is the Had Had. It knows that we have a list of targets and we have the ability to reach these targets which will shake the foundations of the entity. The Hezbollah chief has also threatened Cyprus if it opens airports and bases for Israel to target Lebanon. Now, it's important to note here Cyprus has good relations with both Israel and Lebanon and lies close to the coast of both countries. The Cypriot government should be aware that the opening of Cypriot airports and bases for the Israeli enemy to target Lebanon would mean the Cypriot government is a part of the war and the resistance will deal with it as a part of the war. Reacting to the remarks by Hezbollah leader, the president of Cyprus said that the East Mediterranean island nation is in no way involved in any military operation in the region or elsewhere. The Republic of Cyprus is not involved in any way in the hostilities. The Republic of Cyprus is not a part of the problem, it is a part of the solution. And our role, as it was manifested, for example, through the humanitarian corridor, is recognized not only by the Arab world, but by the entire international community. Now, to understand this issue further, we were earlier joined by Adrian Kalman. He is a fellow at Arabian Peninsula Institute. Listen into his insights. We have to remember that October 7th, Hamas started this war, but October 8th, Hezbollah entered the war as well. So there's been a low-grade intensity. Well, I wouldn't say low-grade. It's increased over time. Over 250-some days, we have seen uh, an increase in tactics, an increase in munitions, targeting um, more brazen acts by, the, by Hezbollah on the same token on the Israeli side, you've seen them severely uh, degrade uh, members of the Radwan uh, forces, which uh, man southern Lebanon, Hezbollah is uh, one of their elite forces, take out uh, personnel, material. Uh, so Israel has been trying to, I would say, prep the battlefield, so to speak, for when they do uh, pivot north. And many of us have watched this from afar, have said that well, Hezbollah did not get involved full-fledged right away, so they're just calculating, calibrating, seeing what's going on in Gaza. And then as Israel gains traction in Gaza and looks to uh, wrap up Gaza, then Hezbollah will start to uh, really uh, throw its arsenal. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.